Did you guys know that I have a huge giveaway going on right now? If you didn't, check out my video down below. I am giving away all of this stuff to you guys. Three prize winners. Check it out because I want you to win. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another product empties. So I'm trying to get better at doing this like more quickly so I don't have a bazillion products to show you. And I think I said that same thing in my last product empties video, which by the way, if you like these kinds of videos, I'll link my playlist down below. I've done a few of them. I think these videos are super beneficial because if somebody uses a product to its entirety, then they really have an idea of whether or not they like it or if they don't like it and would they repurchase it, would they recommend it. So I'm going to go through all the products that I've used completely up in the past probably two months and let you know if I liked it, if I didn't like it, would I repurchase it, all that fun stuff. Alright, well first thing, I actually have two of the same shampoo and conditioner. I never do this. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. So this is the Matrix by Lage Color Last. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I absolutely love this shampoo and conditioner. I love the scent of it. I love the way it makes my hair smell. I've used this for years and years and years and it's relatively on the cheaper side um, comparably you know to other types of shampoos and it has no parabens and I think it does have sulfate but it has no parabens and it's good for color treated hair, it's very moisturizing, I love this, I will absolutely repurchase this, absolutely. Alright, next up, let me try to get all my shower gels out of here, I usually have a bunch of shower gels. So this time I have three, I have one of the Maui Mango Surf Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. Ah, oh, this stuff smells so good. It smells like mango. Oh, I love it. I would definitely repurchase this, but I think it was limited edition. Then I have two of the Pear Berry Shower Gel. This stuff I spoke about in my last favorites video, um, so I'll link that down below. I'll link everything down below. You guys know I love to do that. This stuff I love so much, but I can't repurchase it. It's not sold in stores anymore. Uh, Bath & Body Works brought this back for their semi-annual sale, but it, they didn't like reintroduce it as a permanent item, so I can't repurchase it, but I definitely would. Alright, so along with those, I have the matching lotions. I love Bath & Body Works because you can get a lotion and a shower gel that match. So the same scent. I love to have matching scents. Um, so I like it for that purpose, plus the formula. I just, I really like it. Um, so it's perfect for summertime, not too light, but not too heavy. It's just it's perfect. Alright, next up I have three of the Baptiste dry shampoos. I love this stuff. You guys know that. I'm not even going to tell you how much I love it because you already know that. I already have a backup stash. This scent right here is my favorite, the Floral Essence. It smells like freshly cleaned hair. I love it so much. So of course I used up that stuff. I have a few more hair products in here and something got all over the place and it's icky. Ugh. Um, I have a few more hair products, so the first thing I have, I finished this up today, um, this is the It's a 10 uh, Leave-In, what is it called, Miracle Leave-In product for your hair. I absolutely adore this stuff. The issue I have with this product is the size, so if you get the big huge bottle, it's very, very hard to hold and to squirt. I have really big hands and really long fingers and it's even hard for me so you have to grasp it and then also be able to reach to the pump and pump it. And if you have like wet slippery hands, which typically you do because you just got out of the shower, it's very hard to hold. So I will probably only buy like the one size smaller than this. This is the 10 fluid ounces. I think it's the biggest one they have. So I think I'm going to buy just the smaller one going forward. But the product itself is awesome. Then I have two living proof products in here. Um, the first thing I have is the 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I feel like this took me forever to finish. <laughs> um, it's a really good product, so it's basically like a styling cream. It's 5-in-1 because it smooths, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, polishes. Um, it works really well. I probably... Oh, plus it smells good. All of the Living Proof, Proof products smell the same and they smell really good. Um, I probably will not repurchase this just because I think... I think I like the Bumble and Bumble styling creams a little bit better. I don't, I didn't use styling creams prior to buying this, so I also think it might be an unnecessary step in my hair care routine, but it is a really good product. I don't regret purchasing it, I just probably won't repurchase it. And the second Living Proof product I bought is their uh, Restore Mask Treatment, so the Strand Healing 
weightlessly repairing, softness restoring. It's their hair mask, so it's very similar to the uh, macadamia hair mask. In fact, I was going to buy that and they were sold out, so the person recommended this instead. And I liked it, but I don't think I'll repurchase it because for one, it was very expensive. It was more expensive than the macadamia one. Um, for two, it doesn't smell as good as the macadamia one. And for three, I feel like it wasn't quite as um, intense. I don't think it worked quite as well as the macadamia hair mask does. So I won't repurchase it. It's a good product. If I hadn't ever tried the macadamia hair mask ever and I only tried this, I would be in love with it. But because I know there's a better product that's cheaper and smells better, I, will, I won't buy this one again. All right, last hair product. And this might be what's leaking. Actually, no. It smells like shower gel was leaking. I don't know. Uh, but this is the Oro Floridio hair oil. I cannot tell you guys how much... Ugh, it's all greasy. Something leaked. I cannot tell you guys how much I adore this hair oil. For one, it smells so good. It has like a... Oh, it has a perfectly sweet, pure vanilla scent to it. It smells like the La Vanilla perfume. I'm in love with that scent. So it smells really good. But aside from that, the like formula of this oil, so most hair oils, you can overdo it. Like today, I've been using the Bumble and Bumble hair oil since I ran out of this one. And I feel like it leaves my hair kind of stringy and like greasy looking. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I sprayed some dry shampoo in my hair to try to like counteract it, but most hair oils do that. They leave your hair kind of stringy and oily if you overdo it. This one, you cannot overdo. It does not leave your hair stringy or greasy looking. It literally just adds shine and smoothness and you can't overdo it. I've never had that oily, overdo, like crazy feeling with this, so I definitely recommend this. I will definitely repurchase this. I want to say they're selling out of it or Ulta's discontinuing it or they're repurposing it or repackaging it because um, like two or three weeks ago, uh, actually like a month ago, these were all on clearance. Um, so they didn't have my at my Ulta, but my friend Lily called me and she's like, hey, that hair oil that you like is on sale at my Ulta. And I was like, oh my gosh, grab me some. So if you guys know anything about that, let me know down below. If you see this, pick it up because oh, it's the best hair oil like ever. Okay, now that I'm done with hair products, let's move on to face products. So first thing I have is two packages of makeup wipes. Makeup wipes. Um, I actually don't use these on my face, but it is a face product. I use these on my hands. Um, so every day as I'm doing my makeup or as I'm swatching things, I will wipe that product off with these wipes. I love these. They smell so good. And the scent will kind of linger throughout the day. And it's a positive, like, good smelling scent. So I love those. I will definitely repurchase those. And then I have two more face products. I don't know. More face products. Uh, the first one here is Hope in the Jar for Dry Skin. I love Hope in a Jar. Um, this is the one for dry skin, so this is like the extra intense Hope in a Jar. I love it. I'm not going to repurchase it because, for one, the thing breaks. So it has like a plastic outer container part of it that I probably could have thrown this away, um, but I wanted to keep it for the purpose of this video. It pops off and it cracks, and this happened within like the first couple of weeks of me using the product. So that's a downside. The packaging sucks. Luckily there's like an internal container that you can use, but it's kind of ugly. Um, but the other reason why I won't repurchase it is because Hope in a Jar, uh, Renewed Hope in a Jar, came out. So they have a ho Renewed Hope in a Jar for dry skin that I know I will like better than the regular Hope in a Jar for dry skin. Good lord, these are mouthfuls of words. Um, so I won't repurchase the original, but I will definitely repurchase the Renewed. And then I have a Glam Glow Mask. So this is another product that I feel like it took me forever to finish. Uh, but this is the... I'm trying to open it up so I can show you. It's all gone. This is the uh, Super Mud. So this is the clearing mask. Um, this took me so long to finish because I didn't typically use it as an all-over mask. I used it more as a spot treatment. So if I had like a stubborn breakout, I would put this on before I went to bed at nighttime. And then in the morning, I would wash it off. And it's pretty much like an acne spot treatment. So that's usually what I used it for. Oh, I can't close this. Blech. 
Um, but it did work as a great all over mask. It pulls out all the gunk and the grime in your pores and it's phenomenal. I don't think I'll repurchase this. Um, I'm waiting for them to come out with a small little tiny version of it that's a little bit cheaper because this is expensive. It's $69. Alright, next I have an eye cream. So this is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I did like this eye cream, but I didn't like it as much as my Kiehl's eye cream. So I think in my last empties video, or maybe the one before that, I talked to you guys about the Kiehl's eye cream, and I love it. I didn't want to repurchase it though because I had this to use up, and I'm still, I still have another eye cream that I have to use up. But once I'm out of all my eye creams, I'm going to repurchase the Kiehl's one. However, this is a good eye cream. Um, it's very hydrating. It seems to last for a long time. It is on the pricey side. It's $50, so that's kind of a downside, but I won't repurchase this because I have one that I like better. Next, I have a Clarisonic brush head. Nothing fun here, just a brush head. <laughs> All right, then the last non-makeup product, and then I have a lot of makeup to show you too. So the last non-makeup product is the Sephora brush cleaner, the solid brush cleaner. This was a really good brush cleaner. It's comparable to the um, Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid, but I don't think it worked quite as well. Um, and the thing I liked about this is it comes with like a little kind of like, like the Sigma brush cleaning pad. This is like a miniature version of that. So I liked that because I could keep it in the lid and like it helps to clean your brushes. So I really liked it for that purpose, but it's not much cheaper than the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. I think it was like a dollar cheaper. So because of that, I think I will save this little thing, this little guy, um, and only buy the Beauty Blender brand going forward because I think it's a little bit better. All right, now it's time for makeup. So the first makeup product, well, I guess you can't really tell because these are empty lash cards, but some Ardell lashes. So the ones I'm wearing today is the, I think it's the 110. Um, they're very natural. I love them a lot. The 301, I believe, are the Demi Wispies, which are also very natural. I love those. And then the 116 is the, like, half lashes. I love Ardell lashes. I'm really, really getting into lashes now, and... Ardell is like a great drugstore brand. They're affordable and I will definitely repurchase these. All right, I have two concealers. So the first one is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. <laughs> I couldn't see it on the bottom. Um, this, I feel like I've had this for years and years and years. This is really nice because half of it is the concealer. The other half is a setting powder. It's kind of like a pale yellow setting powder. This concealer was just okay. Um, I really, really liked it before I discovered other concealers that I liked better. Um, it's nice because it's all-inclusive, the color was great, they have a really wide variety of colors, um, but I like other concealers better, so I won't repurchase this. Second concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This stuff, guys, it's probably my new favorite concealer. I think I like this concealer more than any other concealer. Um, I had to prevent myself from immediately rebuying it because I had a MAC Pro Longwear that I needed to finish up. And I'm in the process of finishing that up right now. But I did go and buy another one of these. I already repurchased it. It is amazing. It is weightless, but full coverage. It's great for under eyes. It's great for anywhere on your face. It's just, oh, it's amazing. And it comes with like a little applicator so it's easy to put on. And Urban Decay knocked it out of the park with this. It is a great concealer. All right, next I have a foundation. I actually have a liquid foundation and a powder foundation. So the liquid foundation I have is the Lancome Teens Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I love this stuff. This is probably my holy grail foundation. I say probably because right now I'm using the Dior Forever foundation. I might like it a little bit better. So I don't know yet, but this is probably like my fifth fifth bottle of this and I fully intend on repurchasing it. The powder foundation I used up is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. You can see I used the entire thing. I hit pan and I didn't let any of it go to waste. This is a great foundation. It's great to use on its own if you just want like light coverage. It's great to use as a setting powder. Um, sometimes I would use this with my Lancome foundation and just like put this on top and I would have like a flawless face all day. Um, it has like a rose petal finish so it's not quite matte but not quite shiny or luminous either. 
and oh, I love it. Plus, it smells like chocolate. Along those same lines, I have a setting powder. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural um, setting powder. You can see it's all gone. This is a great setting powder. I've already repurchased it. It's just, it's a great setting powder. I wouldn't use this alone as a foundation, but as a setting powder on top of foundations, it's great. Love it. We'll definitely repurchase it. All right, last two products and then I'm done. Thanks for sticking with me this far. Um, the next product that I used up is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've already repurchased this. I love this mascara. It's pretty much like falsies in a tube, but it's not like the falsies where it's like fiber lashes. It's, it's just you have to try it. It's amazing. And then the last eye product is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ash Blonde. I think, yeah, Ash Blonde, which has been renamed as Taupe, by the way, if you're wondering. I love this. I love this so much. I've already repurchased it. I'm wearing the new one on my eyebrows today. This is a great brow pencil. It's like teeny tiny tiny, so it kind of recreates what actual hairs look like, so it's very natural looking. It comes in multiple colors. It has a spoolie on the end, and I love it. I will definitely repurchase it. <laughs> Alright well that is all the products that I've used up. Sorry that this video was a little bit longer. I didn't realize I had so many products. So um, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.